you bought gold and silver to help keep your family financially safer in times of turmoil. But now it's up to you to safeguard your bars and coins until that time comes. How you store your precious metals will determine many things, particularly your peace of mind. For many holders of gold and silver bars and coins, a safe deposit box at a bank does the trick as a storage option. That's primarily because it's nearly impossible for anyone but you to open up your safe deposit box. Before committing to this storage solution though, consider that access to your precious metals is limited by the bank's hours. Also, the bank doesn't insure precious metals that are stored in a safe deposit box. And purchasing insurance on your own can be costly. An at-home safe is the ideal place to stash important documents. But it can also be great for storing precious metals. Most importantly, an at-home safe keeps your gold and silver out of sight. You can also see and hold your gold and silver at any time. However, keeping gold and silver in an at-home safe also means having home insurance that will cover the potential loss of those precious metals. Precious metals owners looking for next-level professional security measures might want to consider a depository, also known as vault storage. The professionals at a depository know how to keep precious metals safe and protect them from the elements. Of course, like a safe deposit box, access to a depository is limited by the facility's hours. Another benefit of keeping your precious metals at a depository is that the facility is usually responsible for insuring them, not you. Did you know the United States Bullion Depository at Fort Knox holds over 147 million ounces of gold? Watch How Much Gold Is In Fort Knox from our Did You Know series. Yes, you can store gold or silver in many hidden places in and around your home. You can bury it in the backyard, stuff it under your mattress, or tuck it into a box of junk in the basement. But those storage methods hardly give you confidence about the security of your precious metals, though you can conceivably access them at a moment's notice. Keep in mind that different types of coins might require different storage methods. For instance, you don't want to store a certified graded coin anywhere it could be damaged, as its condition is a key factor in its overall price and market appeal. In the end, how you keep your gold and silver safe will depend on the type of precious metals you own, your personal situation, and your comfort level. Call U.S. Money Reserve today to discuss your precious metals holdings and how to store them. Click the link in the description to download your free gold information kit, which will provide you with important information you should know about diversifying your portfolio by purchasing precious metals.